<clears throat> Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Jet Baker and I am doing one painting each day in quarantine. Today is day 35. All right. And today is a very special episode. As they said on Blossom in all those 80s shows, today is a very special episode. A friend of mine, Elizabeth Hendley, the art therapist from Dell Children's Medical Center, will be joining us. And perfect day because I am painting Elizabeth today. She's an art therapist at Dell Children's Medical Center, and she has been working through the pandemic, bringing art to the patients at the hospital. And I have a great photo here I'm gonna show you. This is what I'm painting today. Here we have Whitney. She's the, she is the uh, music therapist at Dell Children's. And we have Elizabeth. And they are playing a game of pictunery. Pictunery. So it looks like we draw a, a name out of a hat and we guess. And then we have the, our, our music therapist. Um, playing the songs. So in a, in a moment, Elizabeth's gonna be checking in with us until she calls in. I'm going to start uh, start with my start with my pencil drawing. I do a quick pencil drawing and then the first video every day, I do a palette knife painting. And then at three o'clock every day here on YouTube, Central Standard Time, I come back and I put the details in with acrylic paint pens. So let's get started on Elizabeth and Whitney. We're going to do you um, this in this profile. So I just do a quick pencil sketch. And I'm ready whenever you are, Elizabeth, when you want to call. Okay, here we are. Here is my mechanical pencil, so there's never any sharpening. Okay, here we go. Let's put Whitney in here. She's playing the guitar for the patients. Her head. Here's the shoulders. When I draw my sketches, I draw ovals, just like those drawing, those wooden drawing figures that you see. And then I get the, the correct body shape and the, I get the arms in the right place. She's holding the guitar. She's singing. Everyone has their masks on. Elizabeth has been posting photos all throughout the coronavirus pandemic of her working at the hospital, smiling through it. And you, she's wearing a mask, but you can see her eyes smiling through the mask. Okay, here's her body, and then hips and legs. So this is the kind of drawing, I'm not sure if this reads very well on YouTube, but that is Whitney. And then I'm gonna put Elizabeth in, and I'm gonna move her a little bit over. And here's Elizabeth. Let's raise Whitney up a little bit. Okay, and then Elizabeth is right here. Here's your shoulders. You look great. You're pulling names out of a hat. And it looks like you're, you're having fun, keeping those patients, making art today and not worrying about whatever they're in there for. Here's your body and then your hips and your legs that come down. So here we go. You know, a little bigger. How about a little ASMR? How about that? Okay, so here we are. We have Elizabeth and Whitney. Two figures roughed in. And in the middle, we're gonna have that Pictionary, that Pictunary board. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and I hope you're staying at home if you can. And, um, Thank you to all the essential workers, all the first responders, and all the medical personnel who are out there working every day to take care of all of us. And hopefully we're doing our part by staying in and not exasperating the situation. Okay, this looks great. Here's our sketch. There's a board in the middle. Here is Elizabeth and Whitney. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting in our, our palette knife painting. I use three colors. I use white and black. I don't count them as colors. But I use um, primary yellow, primary cyan, and magenta. I 
Here's my palette knife. I didn't take the paint off it yesterday, but that's okay. That just scrapes right off. This is the reason I don't use a paintbrush because this paintbrush would be no good anymore. But a palette knife, I just scrape off and I'm ready to go. I'll put a little paint on my palette, my primary yellow, a little bit of black, a little bit of cyan. I use primary cyan instead of primary blue. It's a little brighter. And if you look at your food packaging, every food package has a little test, test um, color thing where it shows the colors they've used in that in that packaging. And the colors are always cyan, magenta, and yellow. And that's what I use. A little white. Okay, and I'm gonna start um, by putting in the scrubs. Pouring the blue scrubs from Dell Children's Medical Center. A little bit of, put a little bit of magenta in that. Kind of a, a really pretty blue. And so we'll just put this in. I'll darken that up just a little bit. I paint every day during the quarantine days. 35 today, and for me, I can escape from what's going on for a little bit, you know? I'm not worrying about the news right now. Even though I'm painting about the coronavirus pandemic, I am, uh, I'm painting. I'm painting a uh, smock, or I'm painting some PPE. And uh, for those few hours when I'm painting, I'm just right here in the moment. And that's a good thing. Keep busy, you know? Have you tried making art? Elizabeth will have some ideas for art projects that we can do at home with ourselves. A lot of folks are alone with themselves. A lot of folks are with their family. Elizabeth! Hi, Elizabeth. Hey! Hey, welcome! How you doing? This is so exciting. You're our first guest here. On, um, very I know. Thank you for coming. I hope everyone can hear you. Yeah, I hope so too. So, how have you been doing through this? You're going to work like usual every day, bringing art to folks at the hospital. H how's that yeah. been? It's actually really well. I to be still having a job and still working with people and bringing a little light to their difficult days. Um, so it's, it's been really good. 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 And I'm sure that there's all kinds of new procedures and extra precautions. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We've been really, I think our hospital's been really great about protecting everyone. Um, you know, we're all wearing masks every day. And practicing really intense hand hygiene. Um, you know, just making sure that we're six feet apart and all the different rules that have been in place, you know. So Yes, I see in this not, I see in this photo that you're doing a, a game with um, Whitney, the music therapist. And is yes. is that uh, like uh, is that uh, in a room with live patients or is that like on the TVs in the rooms? Yeah, we, we actually have a closed circuit T V system and um, so because we can't do groups right now um, we're able to group session with the CCTV system, and that's what we're doing right there. We're playing a, a Pictionary game that we call Pictionary, and uh, it's just like Pictionary except with music involved, so it's really fun. That's great. That's great. And it looks like um, you have like a hat, and you're picking the names out of the hat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I'm just going to... Be... Go ahead. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, one of the, one of the songs was Hakuna Matata, it was really hard to draw. <laughs> right. That was a good one. That was a twister. A brain twister. <laughs> well, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping that the kids are tuned in and listening and being entertained. Can you talk a little bit about what you do as an art therapist at the Children's Hospital at Dell Children's here in Austin? Absolutely. Um, so I have all 
kinds of different art supplies that I can bring into rooms. I'm still allowed to do that. Um, I have to be a little more careful now about what art materials I bring. Um, a lot of them are single use that I can leave in the room um, so that they can just have them. But um, we do a lot of painting, model magic, um, all kinds of different uh, little crafts and different things. And really, it's, it's to help the kids express themselves. And uh, some of them really want to forget forget where they are and not think about being in the hospital. Um, the other ones really feel like they need to process what's going on. So if they've had a trauma or a difficult situation that they're in the hospital for, um, sometimes it helps them to talk about it a little more openly when they're doing art. Um, so that's what I'm there for, to facilitate that. Yeah, I know sometimes maybe they can't find the right words to explain how they're feeling, but it'll come out in their art, right? Right. It's, it's really fascinating sometimes how, you know, they didn't, sometimes kids don't even know what they're feeling until they put it down on paper and then they can see it, you know, and I can see it and we can talk about it together. And it's just a really non threatening, wonderful way to get to what they're going through. That's great. How long have you been at Dell Children's? I've been there for 12 and a half years now. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize you were there that long. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Because we and met. Now, now I'm actually. We met about six years time. ago, and now you're full time, I know. And that's, yeah. that's thanks to the support of the Austin community. Right, especially uh, Kendra Scott. She, she's the, the funder of my expanded roles. I'm really appreciative to Kendra Scott and her company. Yes, a shout out to Kendra Scott. You're our, you are yeah. providing art therapy for all these um, kids at the hospital. Thank you, Kendra Scott. Yep. And um, we met about six years ago, five, seven years ago, six or seven, five. Yeah, I think so. It's been a long time. Yeah, and uh, I met you the second day that Share Our Deal was <laughs> Share Our Deal was in existence. The first day I went right. over, I went over to. Arc of the Arts, which is uh, an art studio for adults with uh, physical and mental disabilities. And the second day I went to Dell Children's and I met you. I had a big armful of art supplies and I was ready to go. And and you were very helpful, Elizabeth. Elizabeth thank you. I asked you um, oh, thank how you. we could help get art supplies to the kids at the hospital. And you said that you had a budget for your art supplies but then you came up with the best idea, and this idea we have really run with, and it's now it's one of our main main things that we do. You talk, you said that you could use some kind of little art kit for the kids in the hospital, and you gave me some suggestions, and your your suggestions are still are still what we're doing here. This is a bracelet kit oh, thank you. that you suggested. Uh, you suggested origami, mm -hmm. and so we have. Uh, since I met you, we have delivered over 7,000 art kits. Wow, I, think, I, think I, didn't I know, isn't that great? Um, That's amazing. It is amazing. And um, thank you for the suggestion. Um, a lot of sure. thousands of people have been able to make art now. We deliver those to the kids at the hospital. That's so awesome. And over to soldiers at Fort Hood and to seniors around town. And um, thank you for your suggestion. That really. Um, set us on our way from day two of our organization. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, there is a very, very special event that happens at Dell Children's once a year. It's called the Art of Giving. And you are the founder of, an art, of the Art of Giving. Can you talk a little bit about how that came to be and what the Art of Giving is? Sure. Um, so many years ago, I guess it's like eight years ago now, um, we had a special donor who wanted to donate to our program, and um, he thought it would be really cool to have a piece of art to kind of, you know, share with other people and, and encourage other people to donate. And so we weren't sure how to make that happen, and so we talked a little bit more about it and talked to our foundation members and just kind of came up with this plan for an annual event where local artists would come and help the kids create really beautiful, large pieces of art, and it would be free for all of the participants, and everybody would know that the art is going back to the donors that donated in the first place. So it's all pre-sponsored, and lots of really nice businesses and 
companies and banks um, donate to the hospital, and then as a big thank you, we give those big art back to the to the partners. So, um, so we've got usually like thirteen to sixteen local artists that come and do their own um, kind of style with the kids. So Jed is our wonderful artist, and he does palette painting with. Uh, yeah, I'm showing I'm showing pictures right now from the brochure. Um, here's a oh, picture awesome. of uh, of the one of the patients. He's working on the. This is the painting that I'm doing. We'd write words, positive words, on the canvas, and then all the kids would scrape over it, and it turns into a really beautiful painting. Here is uh, that one, and here's a uh, Rebecca Borelli uh, with her paint markers. And so this this is a this was the seventh or the eighth or ninth year of the event. Yeah, this, this would have been the eighth. We had to delay it a little bit, but hopefully we'll get to do it a little bit. This stuff comes home down. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, because last year, the Art of Giving Adult Children's raised over $150,000 for the Art and Music Therapy yeah, Program at yeah. the hospital. And I know that you count on that money, so hopefully we're going to be able to, to still have that event and uh, maybe yeah, this really calm down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was sorry to see that that was um, not happening, but uh, of course, everyone needs to be safe. That is the, the most important thing. Of course, yeah. 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 Um, and I'm still seeing so many wonderful creative things happening throughout the community with art. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really, I'm happy that you're doing what you're doing. And I think, you know, a lot of creative people are really kind of getting into their most creative place during this time, which is really nice to see. That's right. We have a little time. And I even see that you have been making your own art on your own time after you've been making art all day with the patients. <laughs> yeah. One, one really cool project that actually was not my idea. I kind of feel silly for not thinking of it myself. Um, but one of the child life specialists really went to kind of connect all of the department by doing flowers. Uh, we each, uh, I, I distri distributed um single use paint palettes with two watercolors on them and everybody uh, went on to a tutorial on youtube and just did some flowers and uh, i put them all together into a big piece watercolor piece and uh, it was just a really great way to kind of connect our department and let us do something creative you know for each other and with each other without being in the same room so there's just Really, kind of amazing project. I'm really proud of that one. So you're you're not only helping the, the patients with art, you're helping the staff at the hospital to to release a little bit, to escape for a few minutes with some art. Yeah, yeah, it's really important to provide some kind of self care for our staff because you know we do get a little stressed out and you know especially during all these you know precautionary times. It's really Oh, they're right. So we, we want to take care of ourselves as well. I bet it's very stressful. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, we, we're all trying to keep positive for sure, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a little stressful. I'm pulling up your photo here of the artwork you did. Here we go. This is the artwork you just described. This is a, where you, you took, a, you had a little art kit with watercolors for each of the people on your team. And then mm -hmm. I'm showing the big, beautiful bouquet. So they, they painted a little flower on each one of the papers, and then you took the, paper, the the flowers and you cut them and you put them into this beautiful vase. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That was um, just a nice release from the minute of, you know, for a minute from the from the day that y'all are having there. Yeah, and the day, the day that I brought it in and showed everybody, oh my goodness, I mean, the reaction was amazing. You know, they all just, you know, people actually screamed. They were so excited. <laughs> yeah, they got to see their artwork, and they, they really didn't realize how beautiful it would be. Right, right, yeah. What will you be doing with that piece of art? Uh, it is hanging in our main top left office for everybody to enjoy. That's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And we hope to get it framed, too, but that will come later. <laughs> yeah, it will all happen in time. I know that um, art therapy is used to help the patients take their mind off what's happening, but it also can help with pain management. Is that right? Absolutely, absolutely. I've, I've worked with lots of patients who uh, have 
forget momentarily about their pain or maybe they're not focused so much on it so it's not quite the same. Um, and so it's, it's been a really awesome way to kind of help alleviate the pain. Because when you're making art, your focus is really right there in the moment on that piece of art with that paint or pencil or crayons. Right. And you're not thinking yeah. about the pain. Yeah. And I think just the engagement with another person also, you know, and being talk about things or painting or drawing, that's really helpful as well. And for, for someone who was interested in becoming an art therapist, is that possible in, in the state of Texas where we are? Well, um, so it is possible. There are no um, accredited art therapy programs in the state of Texas, but there is an online program. Um, it's called St. Mary the Woods College, which is in Indiana. Uh, but you can do online courses through that program. Um, and you do have to travel there a few times, but it's not, it's just like a couple times a year. Um, but yeah, I've had interns um, that have gone through that program, and it's been really successful. Oh, that's great. So where, are, where are they located? Yeah. Um, so St. Mary the Woods College is in Indiana. Oh, right, right, right. So so you got to go to Indiana the, a couple the, times. But the interns are local, you know, and they, they do online courses. So. Well, that's, that's interesting. But, um, yeah. Yeah, but there are other art therapy uh, schools, like in the Northeast. There are several in New York. Um, there's one in Colorado, there's one in Virginia, so they're just kind of scattered throughout the country. Yeah, and um, I just lost my train of thought here. I'm going to just hold up this photo here. here. I'm painting as we speak, and I have, oh, wow. okay. I have you and Whitney um, painted in here. I'm going to just come back now, and she's got her guitar, and I'm going to come back here and just continue painting while we're talking, put in the background. So yeah, Liz, such a cool thing you're doing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to paint for myself because I, art heals. I know it. You know it. And mm -hmm. um, when I, on my first day of quarantine, I thought, okay, well, this is time to put the money where the mouth is. So I started painting. And by the third day, that's when I realized that I was going to be doing this every day. And uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a great escape for me. And I'm telling the story of the coronavirus pandemic from the point of view of healthcare workers, from the point of view of us at home in quarantine and the national response. And I'm doing it through one painting each day. And today is a very special because I'm painting you, my friend, Elizabeth. <laughs> um, yeah, you've been an inspiration to me and you've always been helpful with Share Art Heal. Thank you. you you've also come to, uh, to help me and my Share Art Heal nonprofit for the last few years at the Austin Police Department Youth Leadership Program. And yeah, that's been really fun. That has been great. Um, that, that's a program that, that most people don't know about. The Austin Police Department has a lot of outreach programs and they have this program. Officer Eric Oakman, retired officer, founded this program over 10 years ago. And there's 150 students, middle school students, who are in this program and they're invited to come for four years. And then after that, they can go into the high school program. They choose middle school because it's really uh, a critical time when decisions that can change your life for the good or the bad are happening. And these uh, officers are teaching classes on leadership. Um, beat officers come in and teach classes and they work with the students. And then I bring art to the program every year, all month. And you have been helping. We've done um, printing, right? Yeah, yeah, printmaking. Mm -hmm. We've done printmaking, and um, that's been a that's always a, a really a popular activity. It's something they might not have done before. Everyone's painted and had crayons, but the way we do our printmaking is 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 a new thing, and, and it's nice because they can take that home and, and share it with their families. Yeah. So thank you for coming to help every year. Um, I don't know what the status is oh, of, thank, of, of thank this. Thank you for asking me. Yeah, it, it's it's um. It's really nice because you talk to the students about how art can help them and release stress and and express themselves. Sure. So thank you. Um, I'm just putting in your arms as we speak. Elizabeth, do you have any suggestions for art projects? That people, I have some friends who are home alone, and then I have some friends yeah. who are with their families 24-7, and they're not used to being with their families 24-7. <laughs> right. 
right. <laughs> um, and, you know, not everybody has a, a palette knife and a box of paints, but I, I bet they right. have something. Do you have any suggestions for just household items and maybe art projects that folks can do at home? Sure. Well, you know, one thing I was thinking about a lot lately is, you know, cards and letters, you know? Um, like, we have all these ways to connect, like FaceTime and Skype and Zoom and all these different things, but, you know, wouldn't it be great to get, like, a real letter in the mail or a card? You know, everybody has paper and pencil and maybe some markers hanging around, you know? So just doodles on a letter or making a card handmade, I mean, that would just really... Brighten people's days, I think. That would brighten up um, anyone's day. Grandma and grandpa, your old aunt and uncle. Yeah. I said that because I'm an old uncle. <laughs> and um, that that is a good idea. In fact, one of the greeting, one of the suggestions you gave us um, six years ago was for a greeting card kit. And we. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we have the blank cards. There's a bunch of stickers and some crayons in there. That is a great yeah. suggestion. What about getting a family together? How, what's a good uh, art project to do that? Oh, wow. You can do all kinds of things. Like, uh, you know, you could, if you do have paint or, you know, you can marker and crayons, you could do like a group uh, family picture. You know, just, it really could just be scribbled, you know, if you want to. Um, doodles. That we like to do, yeah, just doodles and scribbles and, you know, fun stuff. But one thing that we've done before is uh, divide a piece of paper in three parts. And have one person draw like the head of, of anything, really, like an animal or a person, and then pass the paper along to the second person, but with the, only the middle part showing, so they have to see the head, and then they draw a torso, and then hand it to the next person, and they draw the leg. It ends up being a really funny uh, drawing, you know, when you unfold everything and you see what you come up with. So that's a game that we play the gun. That's a great idea, and it's fun. It's a surprise. You can see um, what your your family members have been drawing. Right. <laughs> well, that's great. And yeah, there's, there's also the, the you know the memory game. You know, you can draw like matching cards. You know, to flip over. That could be like a, an art project and a game to play. I love that. that. You take some cards or cut some paper into cards, and then you draw two of each item to play the matching game. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah. You're, you're creating your own game and then playing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's... just gonna put these on the spot. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might implement these myself. Good, you're great. <laughs> you are the professional. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm the handmade cards I have been thinking about a lot because I, I really love doing that for people. Yeah, you know that it is nice to get mail. People don't send mail like they used to. Yeah, yeah. What a thrill that was to get them letters in the mail. Right. Who gets letters in the mail? Well, now maybe someone's going to get some letters and artwork in the mail. <laughs> I would love to receive art for art, artwork from my from my niece. Yeah, and I bet she would do that back for you. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should probably start it. I should send the artwork to them. How about that? <laughs> Great. Um, so, I know nobody really knows how long this is going to go, right? And so, you, you're just in it, and you're going to work every week? Yeah. Just like usual. Yeah, it's, it's kind of strange. You know, I keep hearing all these stories about people just really trying to stay sane while they're quarantined, you know, and I... I feel really fortunate that I still get to leave the house and, you know, feel like I have a purpose and, you know, it's, I'm, I'm just really fortunate, but I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, this ends soon so that other people can finally do what need to do. And yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that we're going to not be like this for too long, you know? Right, yeah. Well, Elizabeth, I'm really um, cranking on your on your on your photo here. I, you probably can't see the computer right now, but I'm going to show everybody where we are. Here we have um, Whitney with the guitar, and we have Elizabeth. And there's a board that's going in here where the, we're playing the pick tunary game. And um, I'm, I'm I'm really happy that you could join us today, Elizabeth. Well, thank you so much for asking. This has been really fun. And thank you for sharing some information with. Um, 
all of my viewers here on YouTube. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped up with this first part of our palette knife paintings. What I do every day is I do this palette knife painting at one o'clock and then I let it dry, have a sandwich, come back at three o'clock and I put in the details with some pasta paint pens, which you turned me on to for the very first time. This, this really um, changed my whole style. You've seen my new style of art. I was painting Austin before I, before the pandemic hit. And um, it's these markers that you turned me on to really that gave me this new style. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love those pockets, Those are my favorite. So I'm going to um, I'm going to wrap it up for now, Elizabeth. I want to thank you so much for coming. Um, everybody, I'm going to be back here, here? at three o'clock Central Standard Time to finish up this painting. So um, Elizabeth, say um, hello to your family. I hope everybody's happy and getting along. I know this. I hope the siblings are getting along. I'm sure they are. You have the best kids. Oh, yeah, they are. Um, thank you for um, coming. Can, do you have a, I know that people might be interested in donating to the art programs at Dell Children's. Is there a way that they can do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Um, so, you can contact the Child Life Department. Um, they will uh, let you know whether your donation will be okay. Because we, we have to be kind of careful about donations right now, too. So the things need to be, you know, new and you know, perfectly shipped from Amazon. So <laughs> you might want to just check that out with the Tom department. Right. So um, we stopped delivering our art kits. Um, we, we used to I used to just drop them off at the emergency room and for the child life department. And um, I stopped doing that. You can't be just dropping in the hospital and dropping boxes off right now. Um, but, right. but if anybody is interested in helping the art therapy music therapy, play therapy programs. They're the expressive therapy programs at Dell Children's Medical Center in Austin. You can call the hospital and talk to the child life department. Okay. Yep. Okay, um, Elizabeth, um, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you at the Art of Giving and we'll make some art together in person soon. Um, you have really, <laughs> you've made this a really special episode here on my new YouTube thing. So I wanna thank you. Yay. Yay. And um, You're welcome. Yay. stay safe. I look forward to seeing your, your posts on, on Instagram and then I'll see you when this is all over. All right. Sounds okay. fantastic. And, and everybody out on YouTube and Facebook, um, stay healthy, stay happy and be kind. I'll see you at three o'clock. Bye. Bye.